Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a Chinese chatbot partner language learning tool that I've built on ChatGPT4 using a very basic prompt. So this is something I wasn't aware that you could actually do on ChatGPT, but it's uh, really been customized and tailored for my learning experience and you can customize yours. I didn't realize how powerful this would be. Um, and it's actually very well customized for what I need it for because my spoken Chinese is a lot better than my written and uh, I want to be able to communicate via typing. This is basically the best way for me to do it. So what this prompt basically does is that it pretends it's a person from Taiwan. It's able to reply to questions and sentences as ask follow-up questions. It corrects my mistakes and it translates it in English. And uh, basically it'll basically correct um, responses that I've made. So I've made a, a an error here with the words that I've written and it's basically corrected it for me. And I can um, basically follow up these, these questions here, do you like eating zongzi? 对了,我很喜欢吃中子. So I can write that. And basically it's gonna congratulate me on answering the question correctly. And then it asks follow-up questions. So I can say, 我不喜欢吃甜的中子. And then I'm just gonna press one here and then return. And it's saying that I've made a mistake here. So basically it corrects all of the mistakes and it helps me to learn this Chinese here. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description for the prompt that I use here. And basically this is not necessarily just ChatGPT. You can probably put this in uh, any kind of language learning model like Gemini and it will probably offer a similar type of experience. Just copy and paste this uh, into a new uh, chat window. Just make a new one here. And uh, basically it's gonna do the same thing. So if I type in Ni Hao, and then it's gonna give the correct kind of learning response. And then I can reply. And then that's done. So it kind of offers a very basic conversation and corrects my uh, language and grammar. Another thing that it does is that it matches up the word to the pinyin a little bit better by adding more spacing between the Chinese characters and that offers a bit more legibility. So we do have the pinyin underneath each of the characters but if you wanted to find out how to add actual pinyin fonts then make sure to click on the link in the description. I like using this one Tone OZ Pinyin Kai Traditional and it'll, it'll actually change the font and add the pinyin above it. So this second line is not strictly necessary if you use this method. If you want to find out how to do that, then please follow the link in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.